know that next year will be even Manchester United legend would love to see Ten Hag sign 72 million pound star who could transform two positions for right defiance. Former Manchester United midfielder Paul Scholes has sunk the prices of a Barcelona ace after their exhilarating draw with Eric Ten Hag's side, explaining how he would love to see the player operate at Old Trafford on a weekly basis. Manchester United were drawn against Barca in the Europe League knockout round playoff after finishing second in their group behind Real Sociedad. Barca, meanwhile, were originally in the Champions League but dropped down after only managing third place in their group. As soon as the draw was made, it got both seats of fans excited. It is worry for two massive clubs like Manchester United and Barca to meet so early on in the Europe League, and the fourth leg held at the game now did not disappoint. Manchester United performed well in the first half and so had gone in front when striker Woodwick Horse was seen through on goal. He saw his left-footed drive halved by Barca goalkeeper Mark Andre Ter Stegen. Instead, it was the home side who took the lead. Marcos Alonso headed home from a Rapinha corner in a 15 minute. But Barca's joy did not last long, with the on fire Marcos Rashford breezing past Alonso before somehow beating Ter Stegen at his near post from a tight angel. And Manchester United fans were saying what when Manchester United took the lead seven minutes later. Rashford was at the heart of it again, beating Rapinha and driving into the box before putting the ball into a dangerous area. Barca failed to clear and defender Jose Conde was the unlucky player to score an own goal. But Manchester United could not hold on for the win. Rapinha sent in a cross from deep with 14 minutes of normal time left and it went all the way into David De Gea's bottom corner. Robert Lewandowski looked like he was going to get a touch, but missed it, confusing the keeper and resulting in Manchester United conceding. The tie is delicately poised at 2-2-2, two -two -two, with Barca set to travel to Old Trafford in six days' time for what will be an exciting second league. There was plenty of talk before the match about Manchester United's desire to sign midfielder Frankie De Jong in summer 2022. They reached a £72 million agreement with Barca for him, only for the Dutchman to reject their advances as he wanted to stay at the Camp Nou. De Jong did not enjoy his finest of performance against the Red Files, but he still did well in midfield with some net and TD play. Scholes, who appeared over 700 times for Manchester United, has praised De Jong and revealed his desire to see the 25 years old play under Ten Hag. You would love to see Frankie De Jong play at Old Trafford. He can play deeper as a pie foot or a little bit footer forward, which I think is his best position. Skull said on BT Sport via the Daily Mirror. A fantastic footballer can dribble and I think United fans will be looking out for him today. But I'm sure all the big teams in the Premier League would love to have this guy because he makes you that much better. It is easy to see why Ten Hag wanted to sign the young so badly. When he is on it, he makes Barca tick by building up the play before getting their electric attack course in fold. He did not do this enough against Manchester United in the first leg. Although Ten Hag will be aware of his ability to potentially improve in the second leg, the young can either play as a defensive midfielder or writing just in front of the back four or as more of a number eight who goes from box to box, as such he could improve Manchester United in two positions. Manchester United's midfield would be brilliant if they succeeded in pursuing the young. He could form a solid partnership with Casemiro, 
with either Bruno Fernandes or Christian Eriksen able to play as a number 10 when both are fit. Also, there are two concerning factors that have must consider. The fourth is whether Manchester United will ever be able to prize the Netherlands in the national way from Barca. After all, he is purely committed to the Spanish giants. He wants to help them get back to their former glory. Secondly, the young Rafi will force one current Manchester United player out. Casemiro, Fernandez, and Eriksen have all been great under Ten Hag, so none of that trio would want to sit on the bench regularly. Meanwhile, Newcastle will compete with Manchester United for Classy Operator, who is available at the cut price fee, according to reports.